What is up my friends and welcome back to another video. Now this is not going to be a beat cook up video. This is going to be something that hopefully you guys can learn from and use this information to grow, you know, your platforms and get to the point where you might be wanting, wanting to get to. Um, so if you're new to my channel because you saw the title and it was still something that interests you, like I said, this isn't usually what I, I, you know, film and post about on my channel. It's usually mu music production, but hopefully you can take something away from this as well. So I started my channel back in September of 2016. That was, um, my very first video was, was back then. And, um, you know, it grew really fast in the first few months to a year, I would say. Uh, to the point where we're at now and 172,000 subscribers. So I'm thankful for every single one of you guys. Um, but along the way, you know, as my channel grew, I was contacted and I, well, not was, I still get contacted all the time by companies looking to, um, you know, either get me to put a link in my description to all the way to doing, you know, completely sponsored videos um, where they would send me products. Um, and I think something that was a big question for me, especially in the beginning was, um, do I do these for free? Like, should I charge to do videos? Like how much do I charge if I do charge? Um, and I think that's something that definitely hasn't been touched on, um, you know, in this side of YouTube, which is, you know, the music industry. Um, so coming from my background, you know, I went to college as a business marketing major. Um, I thought like, you know, I've looked into this stuff a lot in terms of advertising and how companies advertise. And uh, I felt like it was like, you know, important for me to kind of reach out to you guys and spread some knowledge on the, on this topic. So I felt like this was an important video for me to make to, you know, shed some light on, you know, questions that you guys might have in terms of, you know, all of this. Um, so to start off, there's a lot of points that I want to go over it. So <laughs> my apologies if I'm like scatterbrained, but I'm going to try and like cover each thing, you know, step by step. But to start off, you got to understand that as you're building your YouTube channel or your platform, whether it's a blog or, you know, Instagram, any platform um, that you may be working on, um, the people that subscribe to you are subscribing or following because then they might be entertained. Um, you know, they find value in your content, whatever it is. Um, but ultimately to a, a big company, you're building a target audience. Um, you know, especially if you're in a specific market, whether it's, uh, the music industry, cosmetics is huge. Um, YouTube, one of the biggest, uh, industries is like, you know, kid videos, like, you know, like cartoons and stuff, which is, it's crazy, but there's something for everything. So as you're building subscribers and followers, you're building a target audience and that's what uh, companies view this as. Um, but I think it's really important to understand that ultimately you're building a brand uh, behind your name. And so as you get companies that reach out to you, it's important to look at what they're asking you for or what product they may want to send you and really think about, is this something that I want to share with my audience? Um, you know, you, you don't want to sell out on your audience. That's, that's the number one thing. You don't want to just like promote some random product because you might be getting a check or, or it's free. You know what I mean? Um, the biggest thing is to be real with the people that are supporting you and ultimately giving you this platform. Um, but that's how companies like look at your, your followers and your subscribers as a target audience that they could use to promote their products. So obviously there's a lot of ways that companies can go and build a target audience on their own without your help. Um, you know, there's Facebook advertisements, Google ads that they can put in all these, you know, not to get too far into advertising, but they can put in all these parameters to target people who, you know, in a specific age group, specific region of the world, what their interests are, they can target those people. But the thing that they don't have, you know, that you give them is, you know, the trust that your subscribers and your followers have in you for being you, um, you ultimately become like how a company will go out and hire, you know, a celebrity to kind of, you know, do their, their commercials or whatever it is. It's because you might relate to that celebrity from whatever experience you've, you've had with them in the past. So, you know, a company can find a target audience on their own, but ultimately it's just going to be them serving an advertisement and hoping that someone would click it. Um, and it's the same thing when they go to an ad agency and say, look, we have an, a campaign for this new product. Um, we want you guys to build a campaign for us. Ultimately, they're just hoping that they find people interested 
um, you know, by creating that campaign and just putting it out there. With you, they have a target audience and it's important for you guys to understand the value of that um, and not to sell out on your, you know, the people that, like I said, that subscribe to you um, and not to undervalue your own time and your work because ultimately living is not cheap and it's definitely not free, you know, so. So to kind of jump right into it in terms of like, what could you charge a company for, you know, whether it's a dedicated video, whether it's a link in your description, you know, a quick shout out in, in your video. Um, what I use and that it's interesting because a lot of people don't know about them, but it's called Social Blue Book, socialbluebook.com. Um, this is not sponsored by them or anything. Like this is what I go based off of. Um, it's kind of like Kelly Blue Book that puts a value on a car, but for your like social platforms. And so what they do is you, you sign up and they pull in all of your analytics from whether it's YouTube, Instagram, whatever platforms you have. Um, they look at your demographics, you know, your engagement, how engaged your audience is with the videos you post consistently, um, your age groups, all this sorts of stuff. And then they go and base that off of information that they collect from around the world from different brand, you know, uh, sponsorships and they find a value that would be reasonable for you to charge a company that's looking for, like I said, either a dedicated video, if a company sends you a product and wants your whole video to be specifically about that product. Um, if it's, you know, like I said, a 30 second shout out or, or just a direct link to the product or their website in the description, they find values for every single one of those. So they break it down, you know, very specifically. Um, so socialbluebook.com, anybody can sign up. It's, it's a free service. It just basically finds a value for, you know, uh, all of your content and, you know, whatever you're going to create. Um, so that's a really good place to start from. Um, now, I think it's really important to consider the company that's actually reaching out to you because it's not always about money. You know, um, if a company is willing to grow with you and help you grow and put their platforms out to help you get to where you want to be, you know, in your career, then that's something that's super important. Like I can't stress enough how important that is. Um, a perfect example for myself would be native instruments. Like, um, shout out to Mick Benjamins from he's over in their Berlin he headquarters. He found me on YouTube, like really early on. And you know, they, they've just believed in me since then. Like they've made all of their platforms. They've put all their platforms at my disposal, you know, whether it's, you know, sounds.com, you know, to sell kits or whatever it is, they've helped me and continue to help me get to where I'm hoping to go. So, um, you know, they really don't ask anything of me and I don't ask anything of them. It's just a mutual, you know, understanding and a mutual relationship. So if you have a company that's interested in you in that way, it's really important to take that into consideration. Cause like I said, you know, a one-time check that you might get for a sponsored video doesn't compare to, you know, a whole career building with a company that can really help you get to where you want to go. So that's something that's really important to take into consideration. So kind of to backtrack back to target audiences, when a company, you know, asks you to do a sponsored video, you're putting links in your videos, you're, you're, you know, pushing a product usually, um, even if the company does not get direct sales from the video that you put out, they're most likely generating traffic from that video to their website. And now they can use that audience to reserve advertisements to you. So they're building a target audience off of the traffic that you generate to them. Um, and that's really valuable as well. You know, after, there's, I think on average, after an advertisement has been served to somebody about three times, their, their potential to actually purchase the product that was advertised is much higher. So if they're already sending, serving an advertisement to somebody who is likely to purchase the product, then, you know, that's money in the bank for them. Um, another thing that I think is really important for you to bring up to a company when they reach out to you about sponsored videos, at the bare minimum, you should ask for an affiliate marketing account with them. And what that is, is they'll make an account for you um, within their system where you'll get specific links that you can post in your description. So when you say, hey, check out this product, um, that product has a code in it or the link has a code in it. So if somebody clicks that link, it goes into their, their cookies on their web browser and you'll make a percentage if they go ahead and make a sale. 
Um, so at the bare minimum, if a company reaches out to you, ask for an affiliate marketing link if they have a program. Not all companies have a program for it, so take that into consideration as well. Um, another thing to think about is if a company wants to send you a product and that's the sole compensation, um, likely they're, they get that product, you know, if they're a retailer at 40 to 50%. Um, I'm sure it's different from from all different industries. I'm I'm speaking from the music industry, you know, the you know audio equipment, hardware, software. Um, they purchase that at cost, um, and I'm talking about retailers right now. So, if they want to send you something that's five hundred dollars, it could have cost them two hundred two hundred and fifty bucks or something like that. You know, so take that into consideration that they're not sending you something. You know that's five hundred dollars out of their pocket. They're sending you something that was two to two hundred and fifty bucks. You know, just for a general, um, as like you know, example. So as we're on the topic of cost, it's really important to think about um, the industry that you are in. You know, for me, it's music. Um, you know, my girlfriend is really big into watching cosmetic videos and, and channels that are about you know makeup products and stuff. Um, it's much easier for a makeup company to get a sponsored video and then have you know that person's subscribers purchase a product that might be 15 bucks whereas you know in the industry that i'm in you know a piece of equipment could be 700 a thousand dollars whatever it is the chances of getting a sale are much lower because of, of the cost so it's important to think about that those factors as well that being said you know i can't tell you how many times my girlfriend has been like i just watched this video and this person is talking about how you know they're getting 20,000 and up for a sponsored video for granted these people probably have millions of subscribers but the companies have the money you know and the reason like the really the driving factor into me making this video is I don't want you guys to be getting taken advantage of because especially you know the music industry when I started I was super excited about equipment you know what I mean and I still get excited about equipment because I'm kind of a nerd you know what I mean I like technology um but it's easy to you know get overly excited and forget about the value that you're bringing to these companies and a lot of times companies will you know like they make money off of that of, of you not knowing what the value that you're offering them is um you know they would never go to an advertising agency and say hey look we need you know we need you guys to make an ad campaign but we need it for free like it's not going to work like that you guys got to understand that you are building a brand with your name, with your platforms, and that brand holds a lot of value and a lot more than I think people understand. Um, so that's really the reason behind me making this video. Your time is really valuable. Like this is literally your life that you are spending time that you won't get back to create something. And to this day, when I get companies that, you know, almost seem insulted that I even mention compensation if they're asking for something, to me, that's a slap in the face. It's like, if you didn't need something from me that you understand could benefit you greatly, then why would you come to me? Just build the platform yourself if you can, you know? So you're offering something that clearly they were unable to do and that they it's not that they could do it if they want. You know, I'm not gonna go and, and say that off the jump, but you've already done it, you know what I mean? So they want in on that. So it's really important to understand the value of your time um, and what you are building and, and you've built thus far. So to kind of wrap this up, I'm sure you can tell I have a lot of ideas going on. Um, I have a lot of opinions on this and it can be hard for me to sit down and funnel it all into a single video. Um, but hopefully I touched on a lot of things that, you know, might answer some of your questions, but if you do have more questions, feel free to leave comments below. Um, and I'll get back to as many as I can or shoot me an email. So to kind of wrap this up and offer, you know, my final thoughts, I think starting the conversation is, is really important. Um, you know, and again, I'm coming from the music side of YouTube. Um, I'm sure there's videos, you know, from other areas that, that kind of touch on this stuff, but the more that you guys know, as you build, um, going forward, you know, the more companies understand, you know, that we know what our value is, the better, you know, environment it's going to create for all of us all together, you know, so we can all secure the bag. But, you know, just as a recap, you know, build with the companies that, that really care about you um, because it's not always about money. But that being said, know what you are worth and 
base you know your judgment you know off of that um, when it comes to working with companies that reach out to you um, so yeah hopefully this video helps you know you guys going forward um, I'm sure there's things that I, I forgot to mention like I said I have a lot of thoughts on this um, so once again leave me a comment below hit the thumbs up you know this is purely just to kind of to try and help you guys um, but I'm sure there's gonna be some of those out there um, but yeah hit the subscribe button leave me a comment let me know what your thoughts are on this um, and I'll catch you guys in the next video peace